fellow planner and personal development addicts, I have a new product for you to feast your eyes on. It's gold and I'm going to tell you all about it including how you can get your hands on one plus a discount code. Sadly it's US only at the moment unless you use one of those handy forwarding services but you know I never work with a company who don't provide something for my non-US followers so for you I have got a link to some free printables. Let's go! Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help you get organized and get motivated and get some great deals on stationery. When the owner of this company contacted me and said she wanted to send me a planner, I was giddy as a schoolgirl. As soon as I saw it, I immediately replied and said, send it my way. Okay, time to give you all the details, the dimensions and a flip through. Cue the spinny thing. So this is it, this is the Path Planner. Look at that beautiful cover. In terms of packaging, this is how it comes. Um, just a standard like Amazon brown envelope, but then inside you get this beautiful silver foiled envelope and you've got your Path Planner sticker on the front. It also comes with this little thing, a tiny little to-do list that's just full of some Small blank pieces of paper, which I really like. I always need tiny little scraps of paper for scribbling down. Phone numbers, random things that I won't need to keep. So that is very, very convenient. In terms of dimensions, it is approximately eight and a half inches by 6.75 inches. Um, and that's from the outside of the spirals. Um, so in centimeters, that would be about 21 and a half by 17 centimeters. Um, they're one inch spirals, so about two and a half centimeters. And then thickness wise, it is about three quarters of an inch thick um, or about two centimeters. So you've got your glossy front, really, really nice. The back then is matte, so you still get a lovely sheen off it. So let's flick it open and we can have a look just really quickly and then I'll just show you the printables. So this is what it looks on the inside. The design is continued on the inside of it and then you've just got your information here. The paper quality is really, really smooth. I have done a pen test at the back, so I'm going to show you that. But one of the first things you will notice about this planner is that it has gold ink throughout. I'm just going to show you the printables really quickly. You will get a link to these when you buy the planner. Um, and I also have a link for non-US people who can't get their hands on the actual planner. There is a link provided in the description box where you can pick these up completely free. You don't have to purchase the planner itself. When you get the link for them, it's actually gold ink as well. Um, the printer that I have at the moment, because we've just moved here, we took an old printer that somebody else was getting rid of. So it only prints in kind of like black and gray scale. So not the best, but I will flash up on the screen what they actually look like so you can see how gorgeous they actually are. So you get a 2017 planner. They are working on a 2018 planner, so anyone who downloads this bunch, you will automatically be sent the 2018 planner when that becomes available. Down at the bottom then you have some boxes. So the middle one is for your biggest goals for the year. Um, so you've got five goals here. On this side you've got space of infinite possibility. So for personal projects, all the things that you can do to get you closer to your goals personally. And then on this side it's for professional projects, so all the things you can do professionally that will get you closer to your goals for the year as well. Next page then you've got a vision board. Again it's all in gold when you see it. I'll flash it up on the screen but you've got space for nine different dreams or visions. What you're supposed to do is kind of envisage what you would like your life to be like. You find a picture that kind of encapsulates that feeling and then you write a date on it. You put them all in chronological order, you write a date and then there's a little checkbox that you can tick off when you have actually completed your goal. After that then you get an ebook. The cover design is very similar to the planner itself and it goes through exactly how the planner actually starts off. So I'm just gonna show you a few of these pages. So this is what the start of the planner actually looks like. You'll get just kind of a hello, a welcome, a little bit about the story and then it talks about how you can discover what your values and your vision are, some little exercises. So I've done those. 
Um, I'm just gonna hide those because they're <laughs> some of them are quite personal. But I will show you, this is all in the front of the planner as well, so I'm gonna show you this. But in the free ebook that you get by the link below, you will get all of this. And then at the end, there's just a little bit about what is included in the planner itself. So it shows you exactly what's on all of the pages. What I really like, and I just wanted to show this really quickly, is that 5% of the profits from the sale of this planner goes to Excel Education Foundation in Tanzania. Um, so you're helping children get an education. So that's a really, really nice touch. I really like that. So like I said, all of these printables are free when you buy the planner, but also just for my viewers, um, I am including a link to them in the description box below. You don't even have to buy the planner. Those are free for you. So let's just dive back into the planner, shall we? This is where the good stuff is. You get your 2017 and 2018 calendar here. Um, one little unusual thing I noticed about this was that 2017 has a Sunday start, but 2018 has a Monday start. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I'm also not sure if anyone else is as giddily excited about the fact that 2018, the first um, starts on a Monday. It's a brand new year, it's a brand new month, it's a brand new week. Um, maybe I'm just weird like that. But that was just something kind of unusual that I noticed. So you have your little welcome thing and the story. Again, there's just a link to the printables. If you buy the planner, there's a separate link for that. So you get your vision board. Um, it says a 2016 annual planner, but you actually get the 2017. And when the 2018 is available, you will automatically get that. That will be emailed to you as well. So then it just talks about finding your mission. Again, this is all the stuff that's in the printable. So I'll just show you here, because this is the one I haven't filled out. So people you admire and the reasons you admire them, who you want to be and why, um, how you want to be, where you want to live and why you want to live there. So what is the purpose of you being there? Then you craft your mission statement. You've got your goals, personal, professional, long-term goals, 20 years, 10 years. Then your medium and short-term goals, so three to five, one to two, and then what you want to achieve that particular year. This then I really like, you've got a commitment contract. Um, so you just sign a little contract to yourself that says you are committing to make yourself happy, to act on your excitement and to accomplish all the goals with the help of your dream life planner. So the path planner, and then you date and sign. I kind of like that, just making a little promise to yourself. Over here then, um, just kind of winds up down here are just some links for discounts and things like that that I've just covered up because they are only available if you buy the planner. And then straight into this stuff goals for the year. So this is from here on out is not included in the printables, just so you know. You've got your goals for the year, so kind of your overall goals, and then you break it down into quarters. So quarter one, two, three, and four. So I really like this. You write down your goals, you get to break them down into quarters, and then you tick off whenever they are done. You get a few pages. I'm just going to move these out of the way. They look pretty, but they're annoying. <laughs> You get a few pages of these, so either you have more goals that will fit on this page, if you're like me, then yes, definitely. Or sometimes as time goes on, your needs change and you want to kind of refresh your goals or review them, you can just start again on a brand new sheet rather than scribbling things out. So I really like that. You get three pages for your goals for the year. Straight into quarter one then, you get a breakdown. So this is really great. So goals to be achieved in the three months, you write those down. What habits and skills do I need to achieve the goal? Then you've got your goals for month one, two, and three, and then a reward if you achieve those goals. Then you've got straight into your month. These are all undated, which is great. Um, so you don't have to start it at a particular time. You can just dive in whenever. So here then you've got your habits that you want to form or break, what mindset you'll have for that particular month. So that could be, you know, you just want to have a positive mindset, you want to have kind of a curious, eager to learn mindset, maybe you want to write some affirmations in there. Um, it's just something nice, I thought that was a nice touch and I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in any other planner. Then you've got your standard planner, um, so it starts on a Sunday, you can write in the date, and then just pop in, you know, whatever kind of big tasks or events or things um, that are coming up. You've always got a quote here on the top of the page, space for notes down here at the side. And then at the bottom here, so it has goals for the upcoming month. You break down your top four goals 
and then you break those down into your weeks. So everything, no matter kind of what page you're looking at, all of your goals and how you plan to achieve them should be front and center for you. And then here, lesson learned this month. So at the end of the month, you go back and you write down what lessons you learned that month. And I just think that is a really nice way of rounding up the month and giving you a chance for some reflection. Um, sometimes we feel that we have struggled with things, but when you change your perception and actually turn it into lessons learned rather than, you know, things that I struggled with, that can really motivate you and keep you going. And then it breaks down into the weeks. The weeks then have a Monday start. I have noticed this with a lot of planners. I personally cannot understand it, but I know a lot of people prefer it, that months have a Sunday start and weeks have a Monday start. Anyway, you break down into your weeks. You've got your timeline from 6 a.m. down to 11. You've got your goals for this week. Again, always keeping your goals front and center. This I really like as well. I am grateful for keeping the things that you're grateful for and the positive things in your life. Again, it's all about kind of cultivating a positive mindset, keeping you challenged, keeping you focused on your goals, while also looking at the things that are currently in your life that you are grateful for and happy for. Down here at the bottom, then at the end of every day, you've got your daily goals, what habits you want to form. So you've got your little plus sign, what habits you want to break, and the little minus sign. And then a to-do list that just got three on it, so your top three priorities. Um, Saturday and Sunday then are just broken down, so they're kind of, they get half. Here then, wins and rewards. I think as we're going on, it's really easy to forget that we have little wins along the way. When you've got a big goal or a goal that's kind of far into the future, it can be easy to lose track of all of the little things you're doing along the way to get you there. When there's still quite a way to go, it can be very easy to feel deflated and defeated. So here, just to mark down little wins that you've had, any little rewards that you've given yourself, and then just things to improve. So maybe things that haven't gone so well that you just need to focus on tweaking and changing um, to make sure that you are getting closer to your goals. So that then you get five weeks to break down your month. And then at the end of those, you get some notes paper to write down your ideas or your progress or how you're doing or brainstorm or just doodle or whatever you like. So I really, really like that. You get four pages for that. And then you go on to your next month. So I'll just flick through then because that will be your first quarter and then you come into your second quarter, so quarter two, and it's the same idea. And the whole planner is broken down like that. It's broken down into quarters, then your month, and then your weeks. It just really helps to focus your mind on what you are trying to achieve and how you are going to achieve it. So I've done a little pen test for you. I marked it here with a little bit of washi tape. Just to give you an idea of the paper quality, paper in it is really, really smooth. I'm really surprised by the paper quality. So I've done a pen test for you. Um, I've done a Bic ballpoint pen, a Papermate Inkjoy ballpoint, um, a Stabilo fine liner, a Sharpie pen, and then just an EK Tools journaling pen that I had. And these little boxes, then I went over these three times um, just to really make sure that if you kind of had a heavier hand or you were doodling or something, um, just to give you an idea of what that would be like. So just to show you, um, the ballpoint pens, you can barely, barely see at all. You can see a little bit of shadowing just on the boxes that I colored in. There was a tiny bit of bleed with the Stabilo fine liners, the teeny tiniest little bit of bleed there with the box. Sharpie pen did not bleed at all, still a little bit of ghosting on it. And then the journaling pen, again, no bleed from that, but a small, small little bit of ghosting. But overall, I think these pages held up really, really well. Again, these are all undated, so you can start in January if you want and work through the year, or you can just start whenever you get it. At the end then, you get little mandalas, to color, there are 14 mandalas that you can color. Just something very simple, but just kind of helps to elevate the planner and make it unique. So I really, really like that. And then you are at the back page um, with your lovely matte finish again. So that is everything that is in the Path Planner. Um, really, really nice cover. Just, I could do this all day. <laughs> But that is what it looks like and you get your free printables if you buy the planner but you also for my viewers you will get these just as a bonus the link is in the description box if i would have kind of some concerns or suggestions or anything like that 
I would like to see an annual review at the end of this planner. I think that would be a really great addition. This is all about setting goals and achieving your goals and keeping you on track. Um, but I would like to see at the end of the planner kind of um, a place where you could sit down and reflect back on the entire year. So I think that would be a really nice touch if they were going to make any improvements to it. I also think this, and maybe this is just a personal thing, I think this would look stunning with a black cover with the gold maybe even a red cover for Christmas, you know, kind of a limited edition. But I think black would really make that gold stand out even more. There were some typos throughout the planner. Um, nothing major, just the odd typo here and there, maybe a little word missing, something like that. Not, again, not kind of a deal breaker, but just something that they could look at. It's not going to like diminish your enjoyment of the planner, but I just wanted to point it out. Also, because the spaces are quite small in here it is a smaller size so it's approximately an a5 um but because the spaces are so small in here it's going to be tricky if you write much much larger so i write small so this doesn't bother me at all but if you have large writing that may become a problem for you i would love to see this planner apart from just having a black cover i would love to see it in an a4 size as well but right now it's only available in the a5 size so if you have big writing this may be a little bit on the smaller side for you but still i still think it's worth having a look at really really nice planner this planner marries my two loves planners obviously and personal development it's not just about planning your life it's about planning a better life if you have been following me for any length of time, you will know that setting goals and reviewing progress are two things that I think are vitally important and I harp on about them all of the time. This planner has both of those. If you are in the US or you have some way of having it forwarded to you outside of the US, then use the code HOWTOGYST for 15% off. The link to the planner is below so when you get to the checkout, pop in the code, it will automatically take off the 15% for you. Heads up that I do make a very small commission on these, but lads, you know me, I do not recommend products that I don't genuinely love and I don't think you will love too. Full price, it is $35, but anytime I have seen it, it has been on sale. And at the time of recording, it was actually reduced to under $17. So if you add the discount code on top of that, you are napping yourself an amazing bargain. Even if you don't want it for yourself, although I don't see why you wouldn't, this would make a great gift. I will pop a link in the description box where you can pick up the printables that I showed you for free. The 2017 planner, and you will also get the 2018 planner as soon as it's available, the vision board, and the ebook about defining your values and your vision and then creating your own personal mission statement. Give this video a thumbs up if you are a planner addict too. And let me know in the comments below if, like me, you love this little gold number. And definitely holler if you picked one up for yourself. Tag me in any photos that you put up of the planner on Instagram and follow me over there because I will be putting up pictures too. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I upload new videos every single Thursday about all things planning, productivity, and personal development. Just click the little logo in the bottom right corner. That will sort you out. Until next time, I will just be doing this for a while. Look at that gold. Curve, Mila Mahagoyev. August Becky May Shifshikalua. Sloan. Sloan.